This is the starter kit that we usually deliver with a hot tub. The important thing to start with is the test strips. Always keep the lids shut as much as you can to keep them dry, otherwise they will be ruined. So this is a brand new hot tub that's had nothing in it at the moment. If I dip the strip in, we will then see the top one, the chlorine is actually reading zero. So we need to add chlorine. This is stabilized chlorine granules, probably the easiest one to use. That's about a dose for this hot tub. We're going to turn the jets on full blast. Now the real proper way to dose chemicals into a tub is to take the bucket of water out, put the chemicals into the bucket, stir it all up till it's completely dissolved, and then add the water in. If the hot tub's warm and the jets are on full blast, as long as you don't have any chemicals sitting on the surface of the hot tub, you'll be okay. It's fine to add one chemical into the hot tub and then another chemical into the hot tub. Never ever add two chemicals together in any container and never add chemical to a small amount of water. Always add chemical to a large body of water. Seal it up as soon as you've used it. If you're buying from a reputable brand, there will always be detailed instructions. Follow the instructions. The chemicals are dangerous, but used correctly, they will be absolutely fine. In this pack, we've got the stabilised chlorine granules. We've also got pH up and pH down. The easiest way to think about pH scale is as a seesaw. You don't want to be too low, and you don't want to be too high. You want to be in the middle. These test strips are lovely because they have an okay written with sort of like a goal post over it. So we say you want to be within the goal posts. If the pH is too low, it's right down there, then add pH plus to bring the pH up. If the pH is too high, add pH minus to bring the pH back down. You'll get a change in reading within about 10 minutes with the jets on full blast. Again, about a medium one of these spoons is about the right amount. In this kit, you also get hot tub no foam. If the surface of the water is frothing up, it's usually cosmetics. Fake tan is horrible in hot tubs, try and avoid it. Or a lot of the time, it's washing detergent from the washing machine. Swim shorts, swimsuits, they don't really need to go through the machine every single time. Rinse them out in cold water, let them dry out. That's usually enough. The chlorine should have gone round now, and we should have a different reading. Again, keep the test strips nice and dry. Just reduce the pumps to keep things a little bit quieter. In they go, and the chlorine this time has changed colour. There's usually a picture on test strips, so match the picture. And here we have chlorine, I would call that three, which is smack bang in the okay range. Total alkalinity is okay. You can research total alkalinity, but we won't cover that now. And pH is right in the middle of the scale. That hot tub is absolutely safe to use at the moment and ready to go.